prophetic word for today. First Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13. You know, I was listening to a message yesterday and this mighty man of God was talking about this. And then the spirit of the Lord just put in my heart to just share it. You know, I receive it and I share it. You know, many times I say, God, what do I speak? What is the prophetic word? And then God gives it to me and then I share it. You know, the word of God says, no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But I like this. God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able, but with the temptation will also make the way of, may, way, make a way of escape. There's a typo there, I'm sorry. This autocorrect just messes up the word sometimes. I'm sorry for that, that you may be able to bear it. If I may request the media team to put it from the software, you know, don't go to the PowerPoint, but then let's just meditate that word. It's such a wonderful word this is. You know, many times we face situations, we call it trials, we call them tests, or we call them temptation. Whatever that would be. You know, there were three Hebrew children. They stood for their faith. But what happened was the king put them in a furnace. Thank you. The king put them in a furnace. And how much should the furnace be heated to kill somebody? But this man heated it how many times? Huh? The Sunday class kids are just quiet. I know they know all these things, but when the question is asked, I want the kids to answer, how many times was the furnace heated? Yes. That's right. See, now they are talking. You know, we have got some wonderful kids, very smart ones, and I'm very proud of every one of you. Now, seven times. You know, the king heated it seven times. Sometimes the enemy would do something like that to you. The people in the world may do things like that to you. The circumstances can put you in a place where you just don't know what to do. But God has good news for all of us. With that... God is saying, hey, I am faithful. I will not allow you to be tempted. Next verse, please. I will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. Oh, I like that. But with the temptation, with the temptation, people of God, God says he will also make the way of escape. The way of escape. There's only one way that you could escape sometimes. And God will give you that way. Jesus says, I am the way. Say, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. Yeah. When you seek Jesus, he will show you his ways. He will teach you his path. And when you step in that way, in that path, obeying his word, what happens? You will escape. You will escape it. Isn't that good news for us? God will make us escape. God will make you escape. Say, I will escape. I will escape. Yeah. I will escape. That's what happened to the Hebrew children. In these last days, the enemy is just putting another card and putting another card and seeing if you will stumble and fall. But you know what? You're going to say that I'm going to escape. Say, I'm going to escape. I don't know what you are going through. But you need to say it. I will escape. Yeah. That is the prophetic word for today. Oh, that word blessed my heart. So I thought I should share it with you. God will give us the way of escape. And God will give the ability to bear it also. Sometimes things can go so unbearable. You know, with the people, you can only bear some people so much. 
but then god gives you the ability god gives you the maturity god gives you the patience to deal with that team that you have at work whatever that would be god will not only be faithful to you he will make the way of escape and you will be able to bear it if that's a test you will pass the test if that is a trial if that's a temptation you will come out of it where your your inner strength will grow your faith would have grown your patience would have definitely grown and that's the prophetic word that god is giving us today so be encouraged god is on your side he will always be faithful to you